Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many JavaScript developers encounter. Our viewer is experiencing a frustrating problem where they can't find an element in the console until they inspect it first. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's address the issue of not being able to find an element in the console until you inspect it. This often happens due to how the DOM is manipulated or rendered dynamically. First, ensure that the element is indeed present in the DOM. You can do this by checking the structure of the page. Use the command document.body.innerHTML to see the full HTML content. If the element is present but still returns null, it might be due to timing issues. The element may not be fully loaded when you run your command. To handle this, you can use a timeout or a mutation observer. Another approach is to ensure that your script runs after the DOM is fully loaded. You can wrap your code in a DOM content loaded event listener. Finally, if you're using jQuery, ensure that it's loaded correctly and that you're using the right selectors. Sometimes using the correct context can help in finding the elements. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When using JS Fiddle, the console initially connects to the main window. Here, the dollar sign function is a shortcut for get element by ID, which can lead to confusion if the element doesn't exist. This is why input returns null. However, when you inspect an element in the result frame, the console switches context allowing you to access the actual input elements present there. In the result frame, the console may use the default jQuery or other loaded libraries, allowing you to find your input elements. This context switch is key to understanding why you can't find elements until you inspect them. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers.